Hi, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I'm here with my Embellish With Us Wednesday video. I think I've just been followed in. <laughs> the cone of shame. Oh, shame. I've got two very sleepy kids doing. That was all the... And Angus. Look at those faces and their dirty coats. With them. I've just had their dinner and I've not traumatised them more by wiping their coats clean. Anyway, the kittens got their, they got neutered yesterday. So we got them back late yesterday afternoon and they are, well they weren't really sleepy yesterday. But today they've been out for the count. So I don't know if it's the painkillers that we've got them on or, but yeah. So if you hear funny noises, they're continuously trying to scratch their neck, but they can't get to it because of their collar. So, anyway, slight diversion. What I was saying was, I'm here with an Embellish With Us Wednesday video. This is an open collaboration. It is hosted by the lovely Marianne, Marianne's Craft Corner, and Rana at Lilo Crafts, and I will link both of their... Um, channels in the description for this video. So last week I was making, was it last week? I think it was. I was making some gorgeous girl embellishments. So this week I've kind of kept that theme going. So one of the things I'd done was these little bird houses. So I've just added a bit of extra to them. I took I die cut the the body of the birdhouse, the kind of overall shape. I've added two extra ones of those from some thick um like 300 GSM card. And in between the two extra layers, I just put a little strip of vellum. Can you see? There's like a little vellum window there. So I emptied um, that. The sun is shining. I'm feeling a bit warm. Um, and the other thing I've been doing for today's video is I've die cut lots of foliage. Um, some little butterflies. This is from the same die set. Some little flowers. And these flowers. And also some toadstools. So this is from the same Gorgeous Girl die set. I think it's the one with the fairy, uh, fairy wings. Um, <coughs> excuse me. For this one, I cut the the top of the mushroom out with some red um, Crafter's Companion, you know, the pearl card. And then it's just a pale grey for the rest of it. And I've layered it up with another bit of that thick GSM card and I made some little embellishments so there's um I don't know what I've done with it but a little sort of wreath die and then I've layered that up so there's a dark green one and then a sort of pewter grey one I've popped just a circle of uh, like sort of plain holographic mirror card behind a little bit of grass or toadstool and then there's some teeny tiny little flowers and some the flower dye is I think it was a tattered lace dye and it's like got about eight different flowers on it and you get little um circles that come out so I've just added a couple of those and some little nouveau drops for the center of the flowers so I wanted to just make those because I'm making up some embellishment sets. So the other thing I did with, with the flowers and the foliage etc. I made up some bag toppers. Um, so I had this die. I added some foliage, the wee sort of daisy and a little word. And I have made up four 
six of each of these. So they're kind of on a theme really. Um, the, the card I used for backing it is actually some adorable scorable from Hunky Dory. Um, I, I don't know why, I kept buying it for a while, Hunky Dory sets, and I don't really use them. I've used them very, very occasionally. So I'm trying to use up what I've got, and if there's stuff that I think I'm not going to use at all, I'm bagging it up, and I might send a few little random packages to people on here and the rest I'll probably take to the charity shop so but I cut up some pieces like this for the back because it's really thick and it's kind of coated so it's got a bit of a sheen to it because I have used these Pritt dots they are like they're quite strong actually but they they're double-sided glue dots. They say on and off. I think you do get permanent ones. But yes, they're repositionable. So they're quite a nice size. Um, I don't know if you can see because it's clear. But there you go. So the, the idea is that I can stick them onto the packaging. But if the person who receives it wants to take them out and put them in a journal or on a card or whatever, they can do that. So that is what I have been working on this week. Um, I've already got plans for what I want to do next week. I want to do some more gardeny, gardening themed ones so that I can make up some little packages with gardening themed. So my, my hope is that at the end of each month that I can have some embellishment collections from the Wednesdays that I've joined in that are done packaged, ready to go out into Happy Mail or for a giveaway. And I thought for those of you who have watched this video right up to this point, I am going to give away... A set of each so one prize with both of these sets um oh and I never think when I'm doing these secret giveaways I never pre-think what word <laughs> I'd like you to use in the comments um how about floral use the words floral in because I did quite a lot of die cutting of flowers. So if you use the word floral in your comment, then um, next Wednesday, when I do my embellish with, embellish with us Wednesday video, I will draw a winner from all the mentions of the word floral in the comment. I don't mind where you live. I'm happy to send anywhere in the world. Obviously, if it's out with the UK, it might take a bit longer to get there, but... Um, it's not heavy so I'm happy I am very happy to do that so if you would like to win these two then please use the word floral in your comment and don't say giveaway because that gives the game away um so yeah so I am going to carry on with my nursing duties of these two poorly kittens they're not poorly they're just dozy and um, continue my watching of the, the trial obviously Johnny Depp, Amber Heard still obsessed um, and make the dinner so that's my plans for just now my husband's out playing golf one minute it's glorious sunshine the next minute it's chucking it down with the rain so poor soul will be ready for some food when he comes in from that I think so yeah so I feel like I've been I've been all of a dither today, so I hope that you can make some sense of what I've said and um, I will see you again very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.